I never knew it, but silicone doesn't really stick to styrofoam. I did this a while back, and I noticed that it was coming off. So I just peeled this right off. And then I just pulled it out. Um, that's not a problem when you stick in um, two pieces of styrofoam together. I've done it before. It actually holds pretty good. And I think because of the pressure, it won't it won't pull apart. Um, and with the concrete around, the, the, it actually holds its form until you get the concrete. And the concrete is actually what's keeping the strength, keeping it together. So this ain't a problem. This is just to hold it in place so you can get a, a form going. But um, yeah, I, um, I think I once said that that um, that styrofoam back there is three eighths. The styrofoam that I recently bought doesn't come in three eighths anymore. It only comes in a quarter. And I was having a problem with that gap there, that three eighths difference on the wall. Anything I put against it is going to be a big space there. Because I had this left over, I totally forgot about it. I'm going to stick it to the bottom part. So I have something flat to stick the, my forms to. I, st I stacked the forms over there with a brick on top just to put some pressure on it. The um, Blue Max dried to where it was tacky and then I just forced it together and put bricks on it and weighed it down. It's got a nice strong grip. Like I said, it's only there to hold it in place until you're ready to put the concrete on. Once you get the concrete on, the concrete's going to actually be like rock. It's all going to be stuck together. It's hard to break apart. I have a fish tank, a 55-gallon fish tank that I I set up for an overflow filter. That filter took a dump, so I had to get another filter, and I couldn't find one that matched up to one I had. It actually had the um, down the intake in a different location, so I try to chisel away at the concrete that I made with the with the styrofoam. It was hard. I could not chisel it away. I was first of all I was afraid about breaking the glass, but um, yeah, I had a screwdriver. I was hitting it with a hammer. It actually it's strong. It, it's not not going anywhere. As long as you keep putting nice coats on it. It's good for a long time. I finally did manage to chisel down a notch for the intake. But, um, yeah, it's just the, I didn't realize it was going to be that strong. I thought it was going to flake apart. But it actually held on. I don't know how many coats of concrete I put on it. I just I just keep doing it and doing it until I'm satisfied with how it looks and how it feels. After a while, I guess, you just have to get the knack for it. I don't know. Yep, now i got to figure out how to make the sides. But like I said, first I want to get that back there. And like I said, paint on the Blue Max on both the, on the part that you're going to put on and the part that you're going to put it to, and let it dry, and then stick it to it. That's when it's, it's it makes its good grip. Uh, I think I said I said it once before that I'm not sure if the see certain spots it's going in and out. I'm not sure if it's just not tacky back there enough for it to stick together or it's still wet. If it's still wet, it might be a little problem, but hopefully in, in time it'll solidify and the problem will be gone. But otherwise, moving on.